campaign and communication. If you remember, we previously suggested that autistic people can respond to pain in different ways. And two of these ways were one, that they may find the sensation agonizing, for instance, because they are hypersensitive. Or two, that they may not notice the sensation at all, for instance, because they are hyposensitive. And let's now mention this other point. Alternatively or additionally, an autistic person may have an atypical or unusual experience of pain. This atypical experience could be because of their sensory differences, the altered way in which they process pain stimuli, or simply because they are unable to communicate that they have a pain 